we'll guide you through how to download and install OBS. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. OBS is a great tool in order to go and record, but also live stream from your computer. So we'll guide you through how you can go and get it. To go and get started, go and open up a web browser of your choice. Now, what you need to do is go and type in OBS, I'm using Google, but it doesn't matter, and come to the site, which is obsproject.com. When you're here, you can then go and choose the system you're using. In this case, I'm using Windows, so I can click there. The installer is now going to begin downloading. What you need to do is go and wait for it to finish. When it has, you can come out of the web browser, open up your file explorer, click downloads to the left and go and find the installer. Go and double click on it like so. You're going to get a Windows security pop-up and then the setup here. What we can do is go and press next to start the process. Make sure you read and agree to the license here. I already have and we can press next. Choose where you want it to be installed and then press next. Here I need to go and close Chrome, so I'll just go and right click on it and close it. If it still doesn't work, click on search at the bottom and type in task manager and open it up. Click on the search at the top and go and type in Chrome, select it and press end task. Then we can come back here and press retry and it's now working. When it's finished, you can go and select launch and go and press finish. Now it's going to go and start. Mine will go and look a little different as I've gone and used it before, so I've got scenes and sources. Just before we do much more, press settings to the right, come to the left and you can select output and you can start customizing these streaming and recording settings. I've actually got a full guide on how you can go and set this up so you can check that out. And when you're ready, you can go and press start recording and that's it.